Hey, it's Nick here for Grayscale Gorilla. I am the Gorilla, and today I'm gonna to show you guys the number one mistake that beginner After Effects users make. I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it. So uh, let's get right into it. Uh, open up After Effects and uh, follow along if you can and see if you haven't run across this problem. Uh, so we're gonna animate uh, the GSG logo here. It means Grayscale Gorilla. And uh, so I'm gonna move this off screen and we're gonna start over here. I'm gonna set a position keyframe right there. So far, so good. I'm gonna go later down the timeline and I'm gonna set uh, a keyframe across here. And uh, so now we have the logo flying across the screen. Awesome, right? So what we actually uh, decide we wanna do is we want it to actually come for a rest uh, right, right here for just a moment and then scoot off to the side of the screen. So let's make a keyframe somewhere around there. That's exactly where we want it. We'll make another keyframe. And then we actually, we don't want it to just uh, fly by it. We want it to stop for just a second. So I'm gonna copy and paste that keyframe. So now we have two identical keyframes, okay? And then we have an in and an out point. So let's see what happens uh, when we render. Aha, uh -huh. that's not what we wanted. We wanted it to come to a full stop. Now, we did copy and paste the keyframes, and if we look at the two positions between these two keyframes, they're identical. This one's over here, this one's here, this one's the same place, and then it goes over here, right? So why, why oh why, does it loop and or do this little back and forth move, right? So here's it. If you wanna get to the quick and dirty of it, this is how you fix it. You highlight your keyframes, you're gonna right click, and you're gonna go to keyframe interpolation right here and it says spatial interpolation, and the default is continuous Bezier right here. You're gonna click it, you're gonna go to linear, and you're gonna click OK. And let's play that again. Now it's doing exactly, exactly what we want it to do. So there's the quick of it, right? Uh, show you the problem and how to fix it. Now this comes up in camera moves, it comes up in positional moves. Anywhere, anytime there's a position and you try to kind of lock the uh, position here for a second, it's gonna fly off and do a loop. And let me undo and show you why. Now that you know how to fix it, if you wanna get into a little more detail, we're gonna go into a, a little bit more technical detail on why the heck this happens. So by default, uh, if you remember back on the keyframing um, uh, lesson, by default, After Effects, I'm gonna just duplicate this uh, layer and uh, I'm gonna make this one uh, Oh, let's make it my favorite orange. Here it is. Yeah, it's orange, just red. Uh, just to just to just to differentiate it. Differentiate it. Here we go. So um, I'm gonna turn off the position. Okay. So if you remember back in the class uh, earlier, you remember that by default, After Effects wants to um, if we if we make three keyframes, it it wants to kind of naturally smooth out that curve. See what it did there? Let me make this a little brighter so you guys can see it. Made three keyframes and it wants to naturally smooth that out. And, and that's good for a lot of moves. You wanna kinda make this float around and now you have a lot more natural move, right, than if, you, than if it went straight, okay? What this does, and let's go back to our other animation. See this little kink we have in there, if I highlight it, um, and I'm just gonna move this a little bit just to show you what's going on. If I move this tangent just so it comes in a little low, you can see what's going on. I'm gonna make this one bright as well so you can see what's going on. Uh, the path is coming up. It's it's stopping at our first keyframe. Let me twirl this up so you can see. It's stopping at our first keyframe and this and it instead of just stopping it actually wants to smooth that kind of thing out. It wants to have this uh, go in like a continuous path and and what it does is put this little kink inside of uh, the path and when it's straight that little kink looks like this see what happens and then when I show you it again let me make it blue I undid my blue here if I accentuate it you see that kink that's going on so again if I just uh, highlight these keyframes right click keyframe interpolation and do linear, you're gonna see it's gonna do exactly what we want it to do. Go straight, stop, and then move along. Okay, um, so that's it. Uh, you'll run into this issue a couple times. Um, if you want, if, for example, if we wanted to fix it here, uh, we can show our position keyframes, hit P, uh, right click, and go to linear, and now you can see exactly what it did on this one. It, it goes straight at it, and then it goes straight up. Doesn't try to smooth that out. So 
if you guys ever have an issue with cameras wobbling, here's the thing. I see this in every reel. I see it in every reel uh, from a student. Uh, somebody makes this mistake. I had it in my reel when I graduated. Um, it's just, it's out there. So uh, this is, a, consider this a public service announcement. The more you know, blah, blah, blah. Everybody now knows how to fix it. There you go. Um, uh, all right. I think that's a. I think that's pretty good. Feel pretty good about that one. That uh, that comes up a lot, and I feel like I'm fixing that problem a lot. So now, uh, now the whole world knows. I hope. And uh, that's it for GSG Cast today. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, cool stuff, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.